Tell me about this truck. What do you like to do on it? I just want like a luxury truck when I'm traveling. I can travel comfortable. I don't want the It's kind of season. Got you. You know, I need my okay. <laughs> He goes, your car is going to be in LA all over. Once he said that, I was hooked. I said, really? No problem. He goes, I want the doors to lift up. Had the doors come up. OK. Like okay. it was a Lambo. <laughs> um, it's just something that, that stands out, man. So I need like something like a lime, stinky, iguana green. OK, OK. The difference between me and everybody else is I'm a car psychologist. When I speak to my client, I can visualize exactly what they're looking for before they even want it. This is all the green family right there. This is crazy right here. Yeah, this middle one is just this one right here. Fly, yeah. When I was thinking about his color theme and his energy, I was thinking about a green bowling ball running down Beverly Hills. That's what I was thinking about. Definitely hitting a strike. Uh, interior will go with like a, a black with the green. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You got an iPhone? Um, yeah, I got an iPhone, so definitely want some USB. So OK. Definitely would like to have all the little gadgets, you know, the USB connectors and the IT, Apple TV and stuff like that. All the amenities. All the amenities. <laughs> OK, gotcha. <laughs> give, look at Frank. Give me all, give me Frank all, the, your world. all the 2020 <laughs> OK. <laughs> so I think this is going to inspire me to do some more edge-lit lighting in that truck, because no one wants to see LEDs. They want to see the glow and the cool factor. It'll be amazing. It'll light it up green. It'll look classy. I think it's going to be really cool. The easiest way to get a door off by myself is to remove the door check, which is what holds the door out in position and, and keeps it steady. So we remove that. Now I'm going to close the door and latch it. This way I can remove the bolts from the front of the door. Once I get the last bolt out, I can grab both sides of the door and open it and pull it away. It's a full color change to a metallic green, three-stage paint. The time frame is pretty tight on this one, about five days. We're trying to have it done by Sunday. Basically, you have a base, and you have a mid-coat, and the mid-coat is a pearl and a chameleon, so the color is going to change color um, in the sunlight. And then you have your clear coat. Today, first we're going to do it, we're going to paint the, uh, the insides of the doors, the roof of the truck, and the door jams on the vehicle. We're using an epoxy primer for adhesion, and then we're going to start with the main layer, green first, and then the top coat over that, and after that, clear coat. While the paint job is on schedule, I got my guys working on the components to get the interior finished. What we're doing is we're going with uh, nice aircraft interior like he requested, diamond uh, inserts on, uh, on the seats. We're going with a diamond headliner with the green diamond inserts, a little bit different than the factory. Sage is going to put some lighting in the actual TV ring, so when you look up, it's going to be nice and bright. First step is going to be the headliner. That way, Sage could do it. It's, uh, his TV rings. We're adding a lot of details that's going to make the vehicle pop. The type of paint we use is PPG, and this particular color is made by the Vibrance part of PPG. It's kind of a custom color that anyone can use, but it's a base coat that it's green with pearl and flake in it, and then get some mid coat to create that almost Harlequin look. Now, the reason why we edge these out is to get these done and back on the escalator. Normally, you could paint everything apart if it was a solid color, but custom colors like this, you gotta paint the outside together so it all stays in one shot. It's just a hot color where it's gonna change probably about six or seven different variations of greens, blues, browns. Sometimes it looks black. The color's pretty intense, it's almost multicolor. You look at it at one angle, it's one thing, the next angle, it's another. We got Jay and Mike and the rest of the crew spend a little bit extra time on this one. It's a brand new vehicle, it's gotta come out better than showroom. But what's being done, the, the time frame is really tight. We're probably looking at another full, long day tomorrow to get this thing back to work. All right, Chico, help me get this in there. I cannot hit you. the door. Got it. Up in, turn around, watch out for the console. Down, ready to go. Let's set the other one in, Chico. All right. Lift it up. 
Shout out to the doors. Happy family. Be careful. Yes, sir. That looks good. All right, let's bolt that one in, and then we can put the carpet in. Okay. Don't cut the seat with your watch. Your elbow's messing up the leather. <laughs> Say, Here, put the, um... clean your face, all the sweat off your face. Teamwork, teamwork. All right, buddy. I miss Florida, man. You miss the heat. Uh, I miss the, yeah. the atmosphere. The, the, the I believe you. 80s. Nice aircraft look. Nice diamond stitched pattern. Yeah, they look great. What's up, boss? What's up, man? I got your baby back. Look at a fresh iguana. When you gotta come out to Cali, it better be a good drop off. Coming here and seeing Jason's expression when he came and saw the paint, the color, we knocked it out of the park. It's got that chameleon paint. I wanted something that was different, something that kind of stood out. You might have seen this color before, but you've never seen this color on a car this big. See, it turns brown when you go around it. That paint job was crazy. It just came alive, you know what I'm saying? It exceeded the picture I had in my head with all the different colors that were added. Sitting on 305, 3524, Savini wheels. Got the NC420s on there for your all seasonal. He was really happy with the wheels, the tires. Yeah, that's session right now. Okay, you got the diamond stitch inserts. Mm -hmm. Your headline is all hand stitched. Obviously, it's one piece now, but there was about 30 panels just to sew this up. Work. It took about 30 panels that Ed had to cut out, but once it came all together, it looked phenomenal. What's this right here? Sweet. Okay. Everything that's one of a kind is appealing to me, you know, so it, like with all the stitching. You got the armrest, there's hop stitch on there in green as well. Of course, you got these real comfy pillows back here. Okay. A lot of detail, man. I got something also, another surprise up front for you to show you. Move your feet right there, you'll see underneath that floor mat. Ah, where you got, you got your boy logo? I got the logo on the floor mats. There's also green lining in that, too. We got green all over the place. Now, at nighttime, there's all lights in green, LED. I thought you were bringing all the girls. They can see the lights. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, you know what I'm sir. Saying? Money green. Money green everywhere. I even wore money green today. 